السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل آئی ریسیویڈ میسیجز اینڈ کمنٹس فرام مائی اسٹوڈنٹس آسکنگ فار اے ویڈیو اباؤٹ سچ اے لانگ جرنی ایز اے ڈائس فورک ناول آفٹر کنسڈرنگ یور ریکویسٹ آئی ہیو ڈیسائڈیڈ ٹو کریٹ اے ویڈیو آن دس فیسنیٹنگ ٹاپک Before we delve into such a long journey as a diasporic novel, it is essential to understand what the term diaspora means. Diaspora. When a group of people leaves their home country and lives somewhere else, that is called a diaspora. This can happen because of various reasons like wars, conflicts or searching for better opportunities. These people often carry their cultural identity with them and try to maintain their tradition in their new surroundings. It's like moving to a new place and trying to fit in while still holding on to your old ways. Such a long journey as a diasporic novel. This novel is about a group of people called Parsis. They left their original home in Persia long ago and now live in India. The book shows how they try to keep their old customs and traditions while living in a changing city, Bombay. It's like a story of how they feel like they belong in two different places at the same time. This makes it a diasporic novel because it is about people who left their homeland and are trying to find their way into a new one while holding on to their old culture. Such a long journey by Rohington Mystery is a great example of a diasporic novel because it explores the lives of Parsis in India. Parsi background Parsis are a community in India with Persian roots. They had to leave Persia a long time ago due to religious persecution and settled in India. Now cultural identity. In the novel, the characters are Parsis and they face a struggle. On one hand, they want to preserve their Parsi tradition, language and way of life. And on the other hand, they live in Bombay, a bustling city with its own culture and changes happening all the time. Now, belonging and displacement. The Parsi characters in the book often grapple with feelings of not completely belonging in either their own uh, new home or their old homeland. This is a common experience of, uh, for diaspora communities. Now, preserving tradition. The novel also shows how Parsi characters work hard to keep their customs and rituals alive, even as they adapt to their new environment. Now, identity and home. The characters, especially the main character, Gustav Noble, struggle with what home means to them. Is it the place where they were born or is it where they live now? Now, historical context. The story happens during the 1971 India-Pakistan war, which is a significant historical event. This war affects the Parsi characters and adds depth to the story. So, such a long journey is a diasporic novel because it's about a community, the Parsis, who left their original home in Persia and made a new life in India. It explores the challenges they face in terms of identity, belonging and preserving their culture in a changing world. This novel gives us a glimpse into the complex experiences of a diaspora community. It was all for today. Thank you so much for listening to me. But I request to those who are new to my channel to please subscribe to my channel. Allah Hafiz and take care.